Well, 25 years ago, a devastating tornado tore through the West Texas town of Saragossa. 30 lives were lost and a town was leveled to the ground. A warning system was in place, but it wasn't effective. Today, lessons have been learned and measures are in place to make sure it never happens again. Meteorologist Emily Borchard has more in part two of her special report. Today, this sound not only warns residents of Saragossa of threatening weather, it's also a haunting reminder of a devastating tornado that took 30 lives and injured over 100 people 25 years ago. Warnings and watches had been issued, but they clearly failed to reach Saragossa. Reeves County Management Coordinator Ricky Herrera says the tragedy opened up everyone's eyes. I've read the report on the event of, those, of that day, and uh, there's certainly lessons to be learned, especially from the emergency management angle. Of course, you know, we have new technology now. The tornado that hit Saragossa was short-lived but devastating. Between 8.15 and 8.20 p.m., the nightmare began. The tornado touched down during a graduation ceremony at Saragossa Hall. No one knew what was happening until the walls came crumbling down. The F-4 Twister traveled three miles, swallowing everything in its path. It spanned one half mile in width and intensified as it moved directly through the center of town. Then it took a northeast turn down Highway 17 until it dissipated. After the magnitude of this tragedy, the flaws in the emergency system became abundantly clear. Here's how everything played out. At 311 in the afternoon, a severe thunderstorm watch was issued for Reeves County, effective until 10 p.m. The National Weather Service then issued a tornado warning for South Central Reeves County at 745 p.m., in effect until 9 p.m. Radio and local TV stations in the Midland, Odessa area were quick to broadcast the warning. At the time, a majority of Saragossa was Spanish-speaking, but the only Spanish warnings were given by Pecos radio station KIUNAM. There was also no storm siren back then. The National Weather Service survey shows that those questioned about the storm received no warning of the tornado. This is where communication, technology, and warning systems have improved today. An outdoor warning siren has been placed in Saragossa, plus local media now broadcasts in Pennsylvania weather coverage in English and Spanish. Reeves County has an emergency disaster plan in place and they work closely with the community to make sure everyone is on the same page. The sirens are tested on a monthly basis. We have a, a comprehensive uh, emergency disaster plan that's actually it's required by the state for each county and city to, to have one in place. We review that plan on a yearly basis. The town also has a storm shelter so that residents can seek effective shelter if storms threaten. 25 years ago, shelters like this did not exist in Saragossa. After the town rebuilt, uh, this shelter was put in in the community center. It's large enough to hold 100 to 200 people, which would now uh, shelter the entire population of Saragossa. Knowledge is power. And every year, the National Weather Service offers a free course for volunteers to become trained storm spotters through their Skywarn program. 25 years ago, storm spotters aided in the warning time for Saragossa. Through this event, time makes a difference and can save lives. You know, there are people that panic whenever they see a storm and, um, you know, they overreact. That's why I feel it's, it's so important to attend these training sessions so they can become more aware of what's really going on. Today you can access severe weather information on your cell phones, computers, televisions, and radios. If the skies turn stormy, you're usually never left in the dark. The events from the Saragossa tornado show that even with warning systems in place, they can't be effective unless the community is in the know and communication reach the population properly. Uh, don't ignore warnings. If you think it's coming, you find a safe place and get in it. May 22nd, 1987 is a day the small town of Saragossa will never forget. 22 people perished that building that facility that day. and There's plenty of stories to go around. There's probably some untold and there's some stories probably that people don't even want to recall, you know. You know, the events of that day are, are still very vivid and alive in the people that live here. So, you know, it's, it's still a very uh, uh, sensitive issue. 
but the lessons learned from the tragedy will save lives for generations to come. Meteorologist Emily Borchard, News West 9.